Welcome back, friends, to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So my buddy Rich over at True Budget EDC and Prepping, he uh, gave out a uh, challenge, an open tag challenge, to everybody uh, to show off their uh, uh, personal EDC uh, med kit or their ouchie boo-boo kit. And uh, I don't think this was really what he was talking about. This is uh, my gum. But uh, I eat a lot of that, or chew a lot of that, and I have these containers laying around, and I've been toying with different uh, configurations and I've been thinking maybe a uh, um, you know a fire kit or a uh, admin kit or something like that but I already have one put together and that is my personal uh, um, EDC med kit and slash uh, uh, hygiene kit so uh, let's take a look at what I have inside here and I have the uh, rubber band here just a Make sure that it uh, stays 100% closed, and it is not uh, waterproof, uh, not in the slightest, but uh, just having that rubber band keeps it sealed that much better. So, as you can see, I do have it filled quite full. I have uh, my birch bees on top and some other things here, too. So, let's, let's get into it. Let's see what we have. So, birch bees, uh, great four, uh, chap lips, chap skin. Uh, even if you have uh, a little, you know, uh, a laceration on your skin, you can rub it on there and keep it keep it from bleeding quite a bit. But uh, uh, don't share with anybody else. So you, this is mainly for yourself, uh, maybe your kids, uh, but uh, you know, keep it personal. So then we have a compression towel. You can use this as toilet paper or uh, a face wash or something of the sort. Uh, just add water. Just don't use it for both at the same time um we also have a couple q-tips and those are great for many things cleaning your ears uh cleaning uh, electronics cleaning things you know whatever you want so we have a wisp toothbrush i also have a uh, container of uh, lubricant eye drops and uh, i do believe I have to replace this because it did expire, but that's okay for now. I also have uh, my favorite wound seal. Don't go anywhere without it, especially when working. And we also have some meds here. We have Advil, Allergy and Congestion Relief. I, I swear by this stuff. Uh, it has an antihistamine, it has a pain reliever, which is your ibuprofen, and it also has a nasal decongestant. Uh, this is great for uh, any allergies concerning your eyes, your uh, nose, you know, your chest. Uh, it's great for that, as well as a pain reliever, because it has ibuprofen in it. It has 200 milligram uh, dose of ibuprofen. So, a great uh, multi-purpose medication and as uh, multi-purpose medications go we have goodies headache powder this has acetaminophen aspirin and caffeine and i want to get the the one without the caffeine in it just so uh um, if i'm having a heart attack or somebody around me is having a heart attack i can give them this and it has aspirin in it but i do have to double check to see if uh giving somebody that's having a heart attack uh, acetaminophen uh, is okay that may be kind of intuitive uh, ultimately but uh, i do have to do some research on that but uh, obviously uh giving somebody with a heart uh, having a heart attack caffeine is not good so i do need to find the one without the caffeine in it so looks like the band-aids want to come out next so i have a couple big band-aids a bunch of uh smaller band-aids also i have let's see another band-aid a couple uh gauze pads and if uh, those are more so for cleaning cleaning a wound but um, you know if I really wanted to keep it in place I could use a rubber band you know total get, ghetto uh, band-aid but hey it works um, I have a couple flossers hand cleaner 70% alcohol so hopefully a hand sanitizer as well and uh, we also have some more meds here so we have anti-diarrheal, and uh, if you eat out a lot or just you're outside of the house a lot and get, come in contact with uh, people that uh, have a, you know, a stomach bug, this stuff will be a godsend. And also we have uh, a generic Benadryl. I Don't ask me how to pronounce that. That's di diphenhydramine. Okay, that's not too bad. Diphenhydramine. But uh, 
So that is great for uh, seasonal allergies as well as if you're having anaphylactic shock. Um, this is an uh, H1 antihistamine uh, or histamine blocker and uh, it, it will save your life, especially in conjunction with a uh, dose of uh, uh, ranitidine, ranitidine, which is the uh, uh, other name for Pepsid. Pepsid is a acid reducer as well as a very powerful histamine blocker. It's an H2. So you have a H1 histamine blocker and an H2 histamine blocker. You take these two right here if you're having a minor um, anaphylactic uh, reaction. Uh, you take these in conjunction with your EpiPen if you're having a major uh, 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 anaphylactic reaction and I'll give you enough time to get to the emergency room. But uh, again, uh, dual purpose. Uh, the uh, diphenhydramine uh, is also the same active ingredient in most sleep aids. So you have that as an option, multi-purpose. And the uh, ranitidine uh, is an acid reducer. So if you if you have uh, some heartburn, you can take a, a couple of these. Actually, I think only one, and that will reduce your heartburn or get rid of it. So a lot of multi-purpose uh, medications in here. And uh, you know, I don't leave home without this uh, little uh, emergency med kit slash hygiene kit. So. Keep that in my uh, sling bag or my backpack. But uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of it. And uh, make sure you check out True Budget EDC and Prepping's uh, uh, video on the uh, uh, EDC med kits or Ouchie Boo Boo kits. I'll put a link down that in, in the description. And there are quite a few other people that are doing this as well. So I uh, believe Sussex EDC did one and a few other people. So check out their videos as well. I'll try to tag as many people and, and uh, put their put the links to their videos down in the description as possible. So as always, I appreciate everyone watching. I hope everyone's having a great day and I'll see you next time. Carry on.